Good evening everybody, thank you very much for joining in. This is 50th, 59th in the series where we are going to speak about a topic which is known as Asset Swap. Basically Asset Swap play a very critical role in, in very critical role in the world of foreign exchange. From this side, I am Rahul Nodan working as a corporate treasurer in Equal Services India, which is an Indian counterpart of a US, NAS, US NASDAQ based listed firm. Uh, you are most welcome to join my LinkedIn networking which is 62 million at rahulnodan8 at gmail.com. You are also welcome to join my foreign exchange club, which is foreign exchange made with thinkers having 2,300 global members on LinkedIn. You are welcome to see my 58 technical videos on YouTube, which is which already have over 2,300 views and 71 subscribers. You are also welcome to have to see the videos on Daily Motion and also welcome to join on the Facebook, which is foreign exchange made with thinkers, the new page created newly created page on Facebook. But again, restressing the fact that today we, we are going to speak about asset swap. There would be various versions of asset swap which, which we are going to speak. Now, this is that simplistic an example of an asset swap, how asset swap is going to get work, how asset swap is going to play a role in the world of foreign exchange. What do you mean by an asset swap? Asset swap refers to a structure wherein you have an asset which having some form of credit risk and you know that this asset is going to get defaulted and once this asset is going to get defaulted you are going to not only going to lose the principal but also going to lose the interest rate on that asset swap now to save yourself to save the interest component of this particular bond you are trying to do you are trying to create a structure which is known as asset swap now in this we assume that there is a bank which is uh, say dvs singapore There is a bank which is known as DBS Singapore and there is a counterparty bank, there is a counterparty hedge fund which is known as PIMCO. I would refer this as hedge fund. Now they are, now DBS Singapore would have a reference asset. And I assume this reference asset is of Greece bonds. The value of this is 100 million dollars and they are generating the yield of 2.3% on this. Now a set swap is nothing but a simple interest rate swap but it is little of technical kind. It's, it's, not a, it's not a total return kind, it is little of technical kind. Now what would happen, DBS Singapore would say I would transfer, now this the entire cash flow whatever I would have, I would transfer the cash flows to you. I will put a hash in this because the transfer of the cash flows do not include any capital appreciation if any and any capital depreciation if any. Now on this based upon the credit rating if higher the rating lower would be the basis point lower would be the rating higher would be the basis point now in this PIMCO would like to transfer L plus say few basis point to DBA Singapore every year now this I would refer at the rate hash in this now this particular reference asset the ownership is not going to change but PIMCO knows that this at the rate hash is going to get defaulted soon. Now in this the basic this is nothing but a simple interest rate swap. What differentiate interest rate asset swap from interest rate swap is that in that even if there is going to be a default happen in, in a reference asset PIMCO would continue to pay the money which is L plus Q basis point without getting any cash flows from DB Singapore because DB Singapore can clearly say that the reference asset I was having is, a, is already defaulted so I cannot pay anything to you. This creates a simplistic structure of asset swap. There could be various kind of asset swap in which you can have you, you can have capital appreciation, you can have capital depreciation and one more phase of asset swap which we are going to cover in, in the next video which is basically the inter interbank hedging. Now in this 
in this form of a set swap, Pimco is paying L plus few basis point to DBA Singapore and DBA Singapore is receiving L plus few few basis point. Now Pimco holds a risk which is known as interest rate risk. If L would shoot, Pimco interest rate would shoot. If L would go down, then Pimco interest rate would go down. To hedge this interest rate, Pimco can all and can go in a market which is known as OIS. Or if not o OIS, then if it is a cross country deal, then this is USD IRS. Now, it, to recap that, we have two banks which is DBA Singapore. You have you have a hedge fund which is Pimco. DB Singapore is having a, having a reference asset assuming Greece bonds of 100 million at the rate of 2.3%. Now that 2.3 million, every year they transfer 2.3 million dollars to Pimco and Pimco transfer L plus few basis point. That is yearly to them. Higher the rating, lower would be the basic point, lower the rating, higher would be the basic point. In this, there is no capital appreciation and capital depreciation to be passed, only the cash flow is supposed to be passed. That is something which if you start passing capital appreciation and depreciation, then this is nothing but a total return swap. In PIMCO, if they know that the underlying asset they are having is subject to default, that's why I mentioned at the rate hash. Now they are going to hash themselves in CDS, which we are going to cover later. And this person who is receiving the LIBOR, is getting a floating rate risk, he can also hedge himself and this person who, who is paying LIBOR, he can, he can also hedge himself. This is all about hedging of asset rate swap, but this predominantly is nothing but a simplistic structure of asset swap. Now how asset swap are working. You are most welcome to contact me at 9899242978 and you are welcome to email me at rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com in case of any concern. But before winding up, I would like to stress the fact that asset swap play a very critical role in the world of credit risk. And this asset swap is one of the critical elements in, in credit risk structure for various banks across the world. Thank you.